When people say they're going on holiday, they think sun, beaches, luxury and comfort. But why do we do this? Our lives are already the epitome of comfort and luxury. We have hot showers, dry clothes and food at the touch of a button. Yet we work harder to go to these places that make our lives look difficult by comparison. After thinking about this, we booked a trip to Great Barrier Island in its wettest month of July. How's your first night on Barrier? I honestly believe that our expectations of comfort are at the root of many of our mental health issues. We're led to believe that the lives that we live aren't amazing. But to truly appreciate our comfort, we need to know what it feels like to have it stripped away. Like, for example, a perfectly timed hip injury. How you doing? I need the hip now. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great. Thanks, I feel great. It rained all night and all day, but we had 15 kilometers and over a thousand stairs to climb if we were to reach the hut and get warm and dry for the night. With a 30 kilo pack, every staircase was an obstacle. But all of this hard graft is what makes the destination so sweet. It makes you appreciate just being dry. And I promise you a hot chocolate never tasted so good. Not to mention a mattress and warm food. The next day we headed out, hiking the ridge line off the mountain down towards the foothills. My hip had sorted itself out by then, but my legs were jelly from the steep climb from the day before, so getting down the slippery path was a bit sketchy at times. The rain had washed away most of the hot water from the natural pools, but it was warm enough and we were in need of a soak, so rude not to. And as the sun dropped, we scouted for a patch of soft ground in the trees and set up for the night. We could have hitched over the hill to Trifena, but at this point we were set on walking. And after more hills and a progressively painful ankle, we'd earned a bear that otherwise wouldn't have been nearly as good. We shared in complex and profound conversations with a local. before heading back over the hills to further reward our efforts. With a few hours to get back to the airport, we took our brew over to the coast and recounted the highs and lows of our journey so far. Good? So I guess my point is, next time you're looking to expand your horizons, instead of going somewhere that makes your life look hard, go somewhere that makes your life look easy. Because in all reality, it is. <laughs>